All right, listen, YouTube wants people watching my videos to be over 18. So if you're not over 18, pretend that you are. Salud. What's up? If you're wondering why I'm in a kitchen, I moved. I live here now. I said that in the last video, so we're here. Now I have a kitchen where I can film. I want to do something that I went to the dispensary the other day and they sent me a coupon. They were like, hey, you haven't been here in a while. If you spend $100, we'll give you $50 off. And I was like, eh. I got a couple things. I need like 20 more bucks. And they had this stuff. True Leave, the most corporate dispensary in all of Florida. They have these true tonics. They're essentially just little, they're little powders, like little Kool-Aid powders with THC. I'm gonna try them today. I've never seen anything like this before. The only bummer is though, there's only 50 milligrams in 10 packets. We're gonna split them up into a couple of drinks because I don't want to put all 10 of these in some fucking water and then die. So we're gonna do three different drinks and then see which one's the best and see if I actually feel anything. 50 milligrams doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't know what it is about my body, but I take edibles like a goddamn sponge. I just absorb every milligram of THC. I don't know what my liver does, but it just delivers every single like milligram of THC to my face at once. So I feel like if these work, I'll be able to tell. So let's make the first one. All right, so the first one that I want to try, I was just trying with water. See, cause it's supposed to be like some Kool-Aid kind of deal. All right, I'm going to use this cup. I know it's a smoothie cup, but that's a little bit foreshadowing of the next drink. There are no instructions. How you don't know, like how much water am I supposed to take with this? There's no recommended amount. Okay. All right, so here's the packet. This is this holds all your powder, and look. Thankfully, they give you a little perforated line right there, so easy tear. All right. Well, it didn't even fucking open like that, so that's good. I tore my own hole. So here's a. The powder, super white, smells like lemon lime. It's getting like a spoon, right? All right, fuck it, we gotta do the other ones. This shit's looking thick, bro. I gotta stir this shit up. God damn it. It smells like lemon. Like it's smelling like lemon heavy as fuck right now. All right, that's two, last one, number three, number two. Bro, listen to this when you stir it, bro. Look at the sounds making. Bro, what the fuck is that? So is this supposed to be like their version of like a seltzer, bro? Fucking goofies. So I thought it was gonna be of like, be more like a like a juice rather than a soda. But not nah, like the fizz is going away. I guess when this fizz all subsides down the hatch, I guess it's more of like a pre-workout, but pre-workouts aren't even like, they're not even super fizzy. All right, fuck it. The foam's not going away. <sighs> Salud everybody. Oh, uh, it tastes like fucking ass. Oh my god, no. Alright, we got like one more gold. Ugh. So, to get my review, that tastes like shit, tastes like piss. It tastes like LaCroix. I hate all types of like seltzers, LaCroix. I feel like all of those are the equivalent of like when you go to like a fucking, went to like the fountain sodas uh, and you get one with not enough of the syrup or whatever. So it's just fizzy ass, like water or whatever. Like flavorless soda. This next one should be better. I need a bowl though to wipe that taste out my mouth. All right, so the second drink 
that we're gonna do, you probably guessed it was a smoothie, and you can honestly make this smoothie without the THC powder, and it's gonna be way better. But grab any kind of fruits you want. I grab berries and some mango frozen, put them into your little smoothie blender thing. And then uh, you can add another fruit. I added a banana to give it that like richness. Some oat milk, because you gotta put as much liquid as you do have fruit. Oat milk and orange juice for like a mixture of flavors, creamy and tangy flavor at the same time. But now you wanna go ahead and of course, give yourself another bowl. Then you're gonna just blend your smoothie to the consistency you like. I like mine a bit more liquidy, so I'm gonna stir it for a good bit, tap the top so that you don't spill any when you open it. I added a bit more orange juice. Pour some for your girlfriend so that she doesn't get mad at you and clean up the fucking mess you made before she really yells at you. Now it's time to ruin it with this THC powder. You're gonna pour all three of your little powders right into the, into the smoothie to ruin everything that you just did. All of your good work is just gonna taste like shit, so bon appetit, guys. Bro, I just spent the last 25 minutes struggling my balls off to take the cap off of this bottle. I thought it was like because of some typical like smoothie shit like that where it's pretty normal for the lid to get stuck after mixing, but no, nah, this shit was fucking on there. And the reason was is because there was air pressure because of the carbonation from that fizz, fizz powder. So like shaking a bottle of Coke with Mentos in it, bro. When I opened that shit, I just heard after just struggling, I put the top of it in warm water and then that was all good and we were chilling, but damn. Hopefully it doesn't taste like ass. It tastes like ass. Ugh, ugh. Dude, it's not good at all. Holy shit. This shit is really ass. I'm not gonna drink it. I don't wanna chug it. I would have three more to do, four more to do, and they all taste like shit. And I don't wanna fuck up my stomach. I feel like this is like drinking it that like a bunch of Coke or like Sprite or something. So fuck that. But I have something better. I got these and I haven't tried them yet. Come on. These shits. And they are 45 milligrams per piece. We're gonna pop these open. We're just gonna have how many? Those 50 milligrams total. So we had five milligrams per pack. We had three packs, that's 15 milligrams, trash. All right, so we're gonna have two gummies, 90 milligrams. Oh, bad, these look like fucking lifesavers. I think I've seen these before. They look like little lifesaver candies, but they're the gummies. So, we'll eat two of you. That's actually good. What the fuck? It tastes like, that was really good green apple. A little bit of weed at the end. Okay, well, Check back in in a bit and see how I'm feeling. See if I get high off of either this or those fizzes. All right, it's like two hours later. I don't really feel anything to be honest. I don't know if it's because of all the bong rips we took and I'm too saturated to like feel shit, or I don't know if the edibles are shit, or I don't know if my tolerance is just. But we're gonna take a dab. This papaya cake. I, I feel like every other video I got like some sort of papaya strain. Mmm, so good. But uh, yeah, overall opinion on the little true tonic powder, it's ass. I don't really like it at all. I don't like the fizz that it gave. It tasted like emergency. And overall, I just think that there's better ways to consume edibles. I'm taking the dev out the puff coat too. I uh, appreciate you guys for being here, for watching the video. For I hope you learned something today. You learned not to buy those kind of fizzy powders. This dab is for everybody whose name begins with a letter after L. Salud.
see you.